First of all, my big apologies for missing this episode last Thursday. Uh, I had a week off from my normal routine and I had a few repairs to do in the house and time just got away from me. So big apologies that this didn't come out last Thursday. I hope it hasn't spoilt your enjoyment, but we are back on track today with one step away from a trip to Wembley. And we're getting to the business end of the League One season. Hello and welcome to episode 64. As I said in the introduction, apologies for not releasing this on Thursday. Just uh, the week got away from me. Um, I was having a week off and all the rest of it. So apologies for that. But we are back today with two games for you. And of course, um, we are getting to the business end of the season because we have a Papa John's Trophy semi-final at Portman Road against Ipswich Town, and that is followed by a League One game against Peterborough United as we get to the butt end of the season in League One. What's been happening since you were last with us? Not a great deal. Um, what I can tell you, though, is we have played one more match. We drew in the last episode, at the end of the last episode, nil-nil against Ipswich Town as a... Um, Almost a dress rehearsal for today's first game up uh, in the uh, Papa John's Trophy semi-final. Uh, but we have played Fleetwood Town, a 2-2 draw. One that we came back from, as you will see, uh, as we have a quick look. Uh, Fleetwood took an early lead through Lambixa after 12 minutes. Uh, Ethan Hamilton adding a second just five minutes later. And uh, we look to be in all sorts of trouble uh, to be fair, um, you'll notice that Taylor Hart not playing particularly well out on that left-hand side. Smith uh, had come into the team not playing particularly well on the right-hand side. Fraser, though, up front <coughs> did get a goal um, on 70 minutes to uh, get us the draw. But Harrison Duddyzak after 53, getting, getting us one back, getting us on track. And uh, I think if we actually have a look uh, in the data hub, <coughs> which we can do, um, no, we can't because uh, that information wasn't there from the last match. It's always the way, isn't it? Uh, last five matches, um, Fleetwood Town. I don't think we can have a look at the uh, uh, we want the data, but we can't do it on this screen for some reason or other. It's uh, it's really, really not really, really annoying. Um, I did find a way of doing it once before, and I've forgotten how to do it right now. Uh, but anyway, um, yeah, we we uh, we weren't doing it, were we? Um, that's what we wanted. That was the screen, um, but it's not in there. I think we can go to some of these and have a look at match momentums and things like that, but it's not in this one. Um, we can see lots of, of things, but we can't actually see. I don't know why it doesn't always do that. Um, it's really, really annoying. Um, wanted to see what the uh, momentum... I'm suspecting that the first half was pretty much um, Fleetwood Town. Second half uh, was ours. But either way, uh, a 2-2 two -two draw in that one. And uh, it leaves us in the table in second place, having played 39 games. Uh, the teams around us have played one game less at the moment. And they are playing their games in hand today and tomorrow. So we will, as we get through to the next... Um, League One game against uh, Peterborough. We all know how that stacks up against everybody else. Um, but we are in second place on 70 points, having dropped four points in the last two games, which is really, really annoying because we would have been top of the pops at the moment, I think, had we had those four points. Uh, well, actually, wouldn't. We'd have been tucked in in second still, but uh, very close to Bristol City uh, in first place. Br Bristol Rovers, if they win their game uh, today... Uh, we they could overawe us and would drop us down into second or even uh, sorry third or even fourth place uh, depending on how Charlton get on as well so uh, they're the games in hands at the moment um, it's very tight at the top of there as you will see Preston 
um, just inside, uh, just outside the playoff places on 66 points. But then there's another three teams there. Peterborough, Milton Keynes, Dons and Charlton all on 66. Bristol Rovers on 69. Very tight at the top there. A lot can happen very quickly depending on results. And um, we just need to uh, to be looking to see if we at least we can secure a playoff place, which would have been far above expectations earlier in the season. Right, let's get on with the episode. No more to-dos. Um, nothing much else to tell you other than uh, we have a Papa John's semi-final. Can we have a trip to Wembley? Let's go and find out. And this is the team that will face uh, Ipswich Town in this Papa John's uh, trophy semi-final. We have a, a couple of players that are cup-tied. Um, we have Harvey Griffiths, um, who is in on loan, of course. He is cup-tied for this one, as is Nathan Fraser. Um, seven goals to his name. Uh, we have a suspension to Lewis Walker, 22 goals uh, this season. Um, and uh, they are the players that are out because of a suspension, a cup tied, and so on and so forth. So the team that we're putting out is as follows. Thomas in goal then, Scanlon, Sass Davis, Gamble, and McDonald uh, completing our back line. Walsh and Patterson are um, in the defensive midfield roles. Griffiths uh, leading the uh, midfield. Uh, Taylor Hart continues out on the left, mainly because uh, we would have probably tried Omatoy out there, but uh, um, because of uh, the situation, we could probably play Burns out there. But uh, anyway, um, Omato uh, Moss out on the right, Omatoy up front, and uh, I think Johnny Smith, who's not ha been having such a good time just lately, has dropped down onto... Um, He's fact dropped out of the uh, out of the squad today. Um, just recently, uh, Ipswich Town haven't won in their last five. Uh, they've drawn four and lost one of their last five games. One of those games, of course, they drew was against us. Uh, past meetings against Ipswich, I think we've only played we've played them twice. Um, played them in league both games in League One, both of them nil nil draws. So. Board draw affairs. It could be penalties today, boys and girls. Uh, on the bench, Molden, Williams, Linton, Pedder, Mundell, Richards and Burns. And here is how the two teams face up. And uh, they're playing a flat back three. We did make one change after I went through the teams with you. Uh, the bench, Tomlinson, we added to the bench. And there are the teams confirmation for you. And our first highlight inside the first minute. We're playing in our away colours. Or is it our third colours? I think uh, it's away colours. Actually in uh, red kit. But uh, Ipswich on the attack. And uh, they have the ball. Sorted out. It's gone over the top. And a goal kick from Williamson. Our second highlight of the game. And Ipswich winning that ball again. And we haven't found a way through yet. We have there. Walsh getting in. Taylor Hart. He's been tackled. And lost the ball, trying to get it back. Can he get it back? No. Just when we thought we might be able to break away, and we're not. So this ball over the top, but Thomas is there, collects the ball. Will the highlight continue? Does. There's a long ball forward, looking for Omatoy, but Wolfenden is there. Thomas trying to get us away quick, and uh, Griffiths has stepped in. Griffiths through to Omatoy. Omatoy didn't find the space. Moss, Griffiths, and it's gone out for a corner. The angle cut off by Omatoy. Walsh with the corner. Can we score from the corner? No, it's been headed clear. Moss is there. He's on the opposite side of the pitch to where he's normally, and that ball given away, looking for Sass Davis. Referee was in the way. And uh, the Ipswich player behind him. No more highlights in this uh, first half. And I'll tell you what, it's pretty even Stevens in the first half as well. Ipswich, seven shots, only one on target. 0.42 on the XG. We've had seven shots, one on target, uh, but a little bit better on the XG. 1.03. Um, they've had 51% of the possession. We've had 49. It's, uh, as I say, even Stevens so far. Uh, we just need to turn that little bit of XG into profit. 
first highlights of the second half. And uh, it's which Ipswich again. Gamble tidying up though. Gamble back to Thomas. Thomas out wide to Scanlon. Fifty-six minutes on the clock. Taylor Hart crosses that deep for McDonald. Finds him nicely. Moss though it was a poor pass, and uh, Ipswich will come away with it. McDonald keeping track, trying to hold him off. I think the danger is a goal could. Either way, could make a big difference here. It'll either open the game up or um, will uh, end up being a winner. McDonald wins that, uh, has that ball again. He's uh, gone on a bit of a mazy run. He's got round everybody so far. Cross this in, boy. Come on. He's gone on his own. And Kyle McDonald, his first goal of the season. And what a goal it was, too. He picked that up pretty much in, the, uh, in, in our own half. And he's gone down the wing. He's come into the area, and I think everybody's just, once he got into the box, he just sort of stood off him, really, and he's seen an angle, and he's taken it. Humphreys launches one over the top. Sass Davis is there, though. McDonald, Moss, can we uh, profit more? Griffiths finds Omatori. Come on, boy. Oh, straight at the goalkeeper. That wouldn't have happened last season. With nearly 70 minutes on the Capraveda, and it's headed out, but back out to Paveda. And uh, who's out there with him? He's trying to keep him at bay. And uh, oh, he's coming, cut inside. Lockie is in space, and he's put it away. His second goal of the season. It's 1 1 after 69 minutes. Oh, dear. Let Paveda have it too often. He was marking him out there. Ga Gamble. Crossed it. Saw Lockyer in space on this side. And uh, he's put it away. 1-1. One, one. And with 71 minutes on the clock, having uh, conceded that goal after getting that lead, hard work from uh, um, McDonald to get that uh, opener for us. Let's see if we can get another one. We've made three changes of our five that we're allowed to make. Uh, Sam Burns comes on for Kido Taylor Hart, who really wasn't having a good game out on that left side. Um, question marks over him, I think, going into uh, next season. Um, Tyrese Omatoy also not having a good game up front. I mean, he's had a couple of opportunities and not managed to put them away, which, as I say, he would have done last season. Uh, we moved him out onto the left side as the uh, inside forward uh, on the left. Uh, Burns, as I say, has come on for uh, Taylor Hart. Uh, Josiah Linton has replaced Callum Scanlon on a yellow card and not playing particularly well. Uh, and we've moved McDonald up into uh, the defensive midfield role, as we didn't have any other defensive midfielders for the bench. And um, what we've uh, also done is uh, we've brought on Joe Tomlinson to replace him on that right-hand side in place of Alex Patterson. That's how we line up going into the last uh, 20 minutes. And we have a free kick, 79 minutes on the clock. Tomlinson with a free kick. Can he score from here? Oh, he's come back over the woodwork. And Omatoy still couldn't put that away. And it's gone to penalties. And, uh, well... <coughs> Excuse me, not what we had in mind. I thought we had extra time first, but uh, that clearly isn't the case. Um, so we have to pick our best players to do this, and uh, they are our five best. Billy Sass Davis will be the sixth. Patrick Gamble, the seventh. Right, so it is straight to penalties, boys and girls. Can we win this on a penalty shootout? We knew it was going to be tight. We prophesied that it might be a penalty shootout. Let's have a look and see what happens. And we are first up. Tomlinson will face the Ipswich goalkeeper. And he's put it away. He's our top penalty taker. And he's put it away. It's 1-0. Ruth. And he's uh, beaten Thomas. It's 1-1 one, one after 1. Omatoy up next. And goodness me. 
We need to hope here because he's not been on form. And he's put that away, though. Humphreys for Ipswich Town. All penalties scored so far. Can Thomas be a hero? No, he can't. Went the right way, though. It's 2-2 two -two after two. Burns up next. And he's put that way. That was very cheeky. Very, very cheeky by Sam Burns. Aring or earring, whichever way you want to put it. Oh, and he saved it. Well done, Thomas. We could be going to Wembley. It's 3-2 after three. Walsh, who is uh, injured, and I kept him on because of this. And he's put that away. 4-2. They missed this. It's all over. Can Thomas make a hero of himself? Lines Foster for Ipswich to keep them in it. And he saved it! We are through to Wembley. Oh, boys and girls, it was a poor penalty. 4-2 on penalties. And Andrew Thomas, rightly so, player of the match. I give him the only person that I actually give a team talk to and uh, just said to him, go out there and do your stuff. And he has. Uh, but the boys did well. They've uh, converted all the penalties that we took and uh, we win the penalty shootout. So a trip to Wembley is imminent. But what we need to do before we do anything else is just round up on uh, the stats for the day. Uh, they had 11 shots, 3 on target, 0.57 on the XG. We really, really should have put them away. 15 shots, 3 on target. So we had more shots than they did. No more on target, but 1.97. Should have really had that second goal. And Omatoy knows that he should have put those away. I think um, if Nathan uh, Fraser had been playing, he definitely would have done 47% uh, of the possession. And, uh, well, we're through to the final. A trip to Wembley. Well-deserved. Who will we play? Let's go and find out. And before we find out who we play in the final of the Papa John's Trophy, can uh, round up on the results in League One. Uh, Bristol City have beaten Sutton United by three goals to no nil uh, and have opened up an eight-point gap over us at the top of the table. Now those four points are showing up. It would have only been four points, but uh, I, I don't really want to be champions. I'd be quite happy just to get uh, promoted um, either through the playoffs or automatically would uh, would suffice. Another round of games coming up on the Wednesday and we should have the result um, to tell us who we're playing in the final. So what we're going to do is we're going to hop forward and get the results because we are interested in uh, the Bristol Rovers game um, because we want to know whether we'll drop down into third or not. Charlton drawing 2-2 with Bradford, which was a good result for us, uh, leaves them three points behind us. Uh, Milton Keynes, Dons, um, not sure they've played. No, they've got a game to play. Are they playing today? Uh, they are. They're playing Derby County. So it'll be good to get all the uh, results rounded up. Let's go and have a look. And with the games played and everybody now played 39 points, the table is as it is. Uh, Bristol Rovers are only managing to get a draw against Morecambe. So we stay above them on goal difference. Uh, so uh, very tight at the top here. Um, Preston still outside on 66, so we still have four-point gap over them. And Peterborough, going to be a big game today, a six-pointer here. Uh, so Bristol Rovers drawing, Milton Keynes drawing, so nothing really moving around. A great deal. Forest Green getting a win against Fleetwood. Um, and Barnsley drawing with Leighton Orient. So nothing really changed dramatically. The table as it looks then, Bristol City top on 78. Buxton second on 70, and then come Bristol Rovers also on 70. Uh, Charlton on 67, Milton Keynes Don 67, Peterborough on 66, Preston just outside the playoff places, also on 66 on goal difference, then Ipswich Town on 64. So that's how it falls. Sutton United have been relegated. They've dropped down into League Two. Uh, they're the first team to be relegated this season, uh, losing against Bristol City. And uh, that has resigned them to League Two football for next season. One other bit of news, or two other bits of news, should I say. 
uh, coming up. We have uh, the injury to uh, Liam Walsh. He's going to be out uh, for two to three weeks. I'm hoping that he will be back for the final of the uh, Papa John's Trophy uh, because we're uh, a little bit lacking in defence um, when it comes to uh, um, defensive midfielders. Uh, but uh, we will be playing Liverpool under-21s in the final at Wembley um, for the Papa John's Trophy. And it comes up um, as prophesied down here. So uh, I think that will be uh, an... Uh, an episode on its own. So uh, we will continue as we were. So Port Vale uh, will play offline. Rotherham and Leighton Orient in the next episode. Then we'll have an episode on its own. The uh, uh, Papa John's Trophy Final. Uh, Liverpool under-21s. And then we'll have Wickham, um, uh, Wickham offline. And come back for Bristol City and Charlton. Our final two games of the season. Top of the table stuff. Uh, Bristol City in first place. Charlton in fourth. It could be a scramble. A mad scramble. For promotion uh, playoff places at that point in time right let's get on with the episode having worked all that out and have a look at uh, the team that will face peterborough in our second game of the episode and uh, we've uh, played peterborough once and that was early in the season uh, a 1-1 draw at our place we're going to their place today so it's not going to be easy uh, we took the lead through lewis dobby after 59 and overton getting the equalizer after 87 can we get a win today? And so here is the team that will face Peterborough in this Skybet League One match. It's a full program today. So we need to keep up with the uh, other uh, teams, of course. Uh, it looks like uh, Peterborough on. They lost their last match to Rotherham by a goal to nil. Uh, they've won two of their last five, drawn two, and lost one. So they're not in bad, bad form. <clears throat> we need to uh, keep up. We need to change our draws into wins is what we need to do. Right, today's team then. It's Thomas in goal, Linton, Sass Davis, Williams and Tomlinson. We are hit by a number of injuries and suspensions. Uh, Camwa and Patterson as the uh, defensive midfield, basically because we have a shortage of defensive midfielders at the moment. Mundell uh, heads the uh, central midfield. Tilly is back in. Um, for an opportunity to do something on the left-hand side. Richards, uh, Rico Richards out on the right. And Nathan Fraser uh, resumes his uh, uh, position up front in attack, obviously after being cup-tied in the last match. Molden, Gamble, Brown, McDonald, who is injured, uh, but he's out for only for a few days. Uh, but uh, he's on the bench today. Duddy Zach, Omatoy and Walker are uh, also on the bench. And as you'll see, uh, Callum Scunlan. He is suspended. He's uh, actually got a two more game suspension after he's uh, sending off recently. Liam Walsh, of course, is injured. He's out for uh, six days to two weeks. Um, hopefully back for, as I say, the uh, final of the uh, uh, cup. Uh, injured uh, also two to four weeks. Uh, Harvey Griffiths, he's not uh, fit either, which is uh, bad news. And Johnny Smith, he's picked up... Um, a gashed upper leg, he'll be out for about a week, so should be back hopefully at some point in the next couple of games. That is how the uh, side look going into this one. And this is how the two sides face off. Uh, Peterborough playing a 4-2-3-1 formation. <clears throat> and we're playing our now familiar 4-2-1-2-1. Or 4 3 3, whichever way you look at it. Confirmation of the table. Peterborough in sixth. We're in second. And this is how the two teams look against one another. Our first highlight. Just two minutes in. Puku. And it's a goal. Capranano. Gives them the lead inside two minutes. And that's not good. We've got to come from behind. Poco crossed in and he's not being marked. Tomlinson with a free kick. It's fine. Tilly. Tilly. Oh, Tomlinson is giving the ball away and that's not good. Not doing things like that. It's gone out wide, but Tomlinson is going to be there. Keeps the ball in. He's got Patterson inside him. 
Batson back out to Tomlinson. Tomlinson, can we get back on level terms here? 22 minutes on the clock. Oh, that's a poor pass again. That's where what just doing silly passes like that is not good. Fraser out to Tilly. Tilly tries to chip the goalkeeper, but he's gone over. I like from the kickoff, Bergstrom. I think he is a Chelsea goalkeeper. I think he's in our other save. Obviously, uh, check to see later if he's uh, signed permanently or on loan. Ball crossed in and ah, oh, good save by Thomas. Clark Harris causing problems in the area, but Puku, danger man in the crosses here, but Thomas comes out and collects that. And Peter Burr on the rampage again. Sass Davis is going to get sent off. Ah, oh, just to add to the problems. So a goal behind and down to 10 men uh, with Billy Sass Davis getting sent off early. Oh, dearie me. And uh, mm, they've caused us all sorts of problems. Alex Patterson makes way then. And uh, what we've done is uh, we've got two central midfields now which uh, gamble comes on to replace uh the uh sacrificed alex patterson and uh we've gone to uh, that particular formation and see if we can get anything in it uh we need uh, the likes of rico richards to uh step up and uh we're not playing or performing particularly well either free kick for peterborough swung in it's headed clear uh, but uh, we're outnumbered. Capra, no, he's had a go from distance. He's got his second of the game. Fourth of the season. And we go two behind before half time. And we are struggling here. They all clustered in the middle. Nobody come out to him. And Thomas couldn't save that. No more highlights uh, up to half time. We're down to 10 men. Six shots, two on target, 0.27. 49% of the possession. They've had nine shots, six on target, 0.59. 51% of the possession. Uh, I think we need to uh, speak to the team at half time. Unusual for us to make changes at half time, but we are making one. Rico Richards, who's uh, again not having a good game. We need to review him. Uh, he has come off, and Lewis Walker comes on to replace him. Need a bit of impetus to try and force ourselves forward. We're two behind. We need uh, to get some uh, something out of this game, if at all possible. And uh, first highlight of the second half, it's a Peterborough corner. Puku, and another goal now will kill us off for sure. Puku's allowed to run into space. What is going on? Ward with the uh, cross. It's gone wide, though. From Clark Harris. And with 70 minutes on the clock, we have made our changes, uh, our final changes. And uh, we've uh, taken off Harry Williams, who wasn't having a particularly good game. Uh, Kieran Brown has come on uh, for him, uh, making a rare appearance. He's uh, not happy at the moment, but hopefully we can get him back on side. Uh, Nathan Fraser, First game, he's not really performed, and uh, probably because of the support that he's getting. Uh, we've moved Walker, uh, Lewis Walker, up into that attacking role. Omatoy comes in on the right for um, Nathan Fraser, and uh, we've also made a change in midfield. Duddy Zach has come on and replaced uh, Romain Mundell. Throw in on this side from Tomlinson. Long throw. Nobody there, though. It's come back out. Tomlinson heads it back in. Duddy Zach. Tilly, Tilly crosses it in, but straight into the arms of Bergstrom. Highlight continues. Bergstrom launches a long one. Tomlinson underneath that. Omatoy trying to get to it, couldn't. And it's a through ball. Thomas is going to get there, though. And highlight still continues. Brown. Brown launches one upfield. Walker. Try to run onto it. Omatoy get, gets there, but ah, uh, story of a thing. Akprom, who's come on, he's going to go around the goalkeeper. No, he's not. It's, Thomas makes a fine save. He's kept us in this game. Tomlinson with the corner swings it in. It's headed clear. Omatoy, oh, that man is just really annoying me at the moment. 
Camwa winning that ball, but Gamble not uh, feeding up, and uh, oh, Gamble's just like lost it. Thomas makes yet another save. He's had a player of the match for me, certainly on our side. Ward with a corner, and he makes another save. Point blank, that one. long this time it's headed clear by tomlinson i think grant runs at the defense and we're struggling all the way around here but that's tomlinson well won to silver long ball in it's cleared tilly's gonna get there and uh, a rare chance to break out but nobody there linton linton finds tilly again tilly duddy zack duddy zack walker comes back for it can what? Omatoy. Omatoy finds Walker. Walker releases himself. Can he put this away? Oh, he's hit the post. Ah, oh, dear. Luck's not on our side today. Thomas with a free kick just inside our box. Linton. Duddy Zach cut that one a bit short, and it was short. Puts us in all sorts of problems. Ah. And this is where we're oh, well cut out by Linton, but uh, unfortunately only managed to get foot in Ward. Ward crosses it, and uh, Jones, Ricky J. Jones. And we're 3-0 down, and we'll be slipping down this table. <sighs> no more highlights, no more goals, thankfully. And we've had a really poor day at the office, albeit Andrew Thomas saved us from almost losing by a cricket score there, um, as it turned out. Uh, I won't say too much about it. I think we'll move on from this. 21 shots, 14 on target. They were absolutely pounding at the door. 2.68, 50% of the possession. We had 11 shots, just three on target. Says it all. Omatoy actually having, apart from Thomas, of course, having the uh, best of the game. Everybody else, very below par. Um, once again, and we drop down to third, and uh, Bristol Rovers have overtaken us. Um, we need to pick ourselves up. We need to turn this around. We've seemed to have lost our way just recently, and uh, it's not good um, for sure. And uh, yeah, um, so we're down to third, and uh, we're just literally three points now above. Uh, Ipswich Town, who are outside the playoff places uh, with uh, six games to go. So uh, really need to sort of pick ourselves up. Otherwise, we'll end up uh, dropping down into mid-table, which is uh, something we don't want to do. We had a, a good run and we've uh, lost ourselves a little bit. Need to pick ourselves up and sort it out. Uh, admittedly, Sass Davis getting sent off wasn't the best. And let's hope he only gets a one-match ban or a two-match ban. Is it one-match ban, I think, because he didn't get a, a straight red. So let's hope it doesn't... Because uh, this recently seemed to be up in it to uh, a three-match ban by adding two more. Right, let's go and have a look and see how that leaves us. Well, a bit of a mediocre episode, really. Um, <laughs> not a lot of goals, uh, not for us anyway, uh, but uh, we've uh, capitulated and uh, down a third. Need to have a little bit of a run now. For the rest of the season, six games to play. It would be good to win all those six games uh, and see where that actually leaves us. All right, so we're going to play Port Vale offline, coming back for Rotherham and Lake Norrin in the next episode. And the episode after that will be a, a one-off game, trophy final against Liverpool under-21s. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. If you have, don't forget to leave me that big thumbs up, subscribe and hit the notification button. That'll keep you up to date with all future episodes of To Be A Legend and new series as they are released. Also, our uh, other series, which is going out at the moment, Chelsea Stands Proud in our final season with them uh, before we end that series. If you want to keep up to date what's happening on this channel, the best way of doing it is to follow me on Twitter at Just Offside 2. Uh, new episodes of To Be A Legend currently re released every Monday and Thursday at 4.15pm. Uh, thank you for watching. Hope to see you for the next episode. Rotherham and Lake Orient. Hopefully we're back to winning ways by then. Episode 65 out on Thursday. Until then, bye-bye. <laughs>